morning guys it's the start of week 25 on the weekly vlog and unfortunately i did go to work this morning but i had to come home after an hour because like i passed out basically on a resident in the shower and so clearly i'm not feeling 100 percent still but you know, so I've come home and I'm feeling a bit meh. I've put my pyjamas on, I've changed my bedding. And I'm just sort of sleeping. I'm trying to sleep it off. And I've taken paracetamol. Not much more I can do, really. This makes me really happy, though. I woke up and found I gained another two subscribers. So I've gone from 90 to 92. I'm so close to 100. I've got, like, eight people. I've got to get eight more subscribers before the end, my goal of next week, where I want to reach 100 at the end of February. I would really love it if I could get to 100 by the end of this week, but if not, oh well. <laughs> I'll get Hi there. guys, it's Tuesday. Been at college all day. Feel like I've been hit by a two ton truck. And people at college even said they look like it as well. <laughs> telling me to go home but I wouldn't because I didn't want to miss any lessons and I just had a shower and it's seven o'clock and I'm going to bed because I feel so knackered. I didn't have a cold yesterday, woke up this morning streaming I was and it's weird because my nose is clear, I can breathe in and out perfectly well Yet the snot just keeps on pouring and my nose just feels sore and inflamed and I don't know why. <clears throat> Rubbish day. I've spent most of it in lessons going, what? Huh? Wednesday, guys, and I've skipped college because I just don't feel right. And paracetamol has not touched the sides, neither has anything I've tried. I was up all last night coughing pretty much. I kept thinking if I do this one big cough I'll be able to go to sleep and it's just not clearing and I feel absolutely crap. I got up and got dressed as if I was going to college and my mum was like, you are not going to college, you look awful. And it's freezing out there which will do you no good. So, I've got an appointment with the doctor in an hour at 10 to 11. It's now 10 to 10. And I'm just like, oh, please let this be a chest infection or something bad because I would hate to go then for it to say, oh, it's just a cold, it's just flu, just take paracetamol. So, a little update for you. I went to the doctor who then sent me to the hospital and... I had to have a chest x-ray done on myself and now I have to wait a week to ten days to find out if there's anything shown in the x-ray which is really stupid because I'm sick now and I want to be cured now, not in seven to ten days. Hi guys, it's Thursday and I slept so much better last night. I don't know what it was, it might have been the cold decongestant tablets Dad said I had to take yesterday or whether I'm actually just feeling a lot better but I managed to sleep for a good six and a half hours last night and I woke up feeling a lot better. Still got a cough which occurs every now and again but it's not bothering me like all the time like it has been and I'm still feeling a bit like my nose is clear but I feel like my nose runs and yeah I just look horrible but I feel okay pretty much apart from yeah just a sore throat slightly so I'm going to keep drinking plenty today I am just going to keep popping the tablets and hopefully things will start to work and I'll be feeling a lot better because I have to go to London tomorrow I am not missing out on it my mission today is to try and get as much of my biology assignment done today because that's due in on Tuesday and I'm only going to have like Sunday afternoon and Monday to work on it really after today so I need to get cracking on with that. I've made Harry a cookie, a massive one with happy birthday written on it. 
Hey guys, I'm in London. It's Friday today. Um, I haven't vlogged much all day because I've not really done much, but yeah, I've, I've just arrived in London in my hotel room. I'll show you it now. Um, there's really not a lot to it. Hang on. Right, so this is literally, this is it, literally. This is my bed. I've just walked through the door. It's got a sink, a little cupboard and a desk and I'm kind of set up already almost and yeah this is me I haven't got an ensuite in this room there is literally a shower opposite my hotel room there so yeah and down there's London King's Cross anyway and I really have to get a wriggle on actually because it's nearly half four now and I need to get over to the Prince of Wales theatre to try and see Harry before he goes in and give him his birthday treat and I might try and attempt the Mormon lottery and see if I can sell my original ticket back to the box office because I would love to sit front row and if I was to win the lottery then yay, that would be perfect. So yeah, I really need to go and get ready guys, I'll be back shortly, okay? So I'm attempting the Book of Mormon lottery, we've got about 10 minutes until they call the draw and hopefully my name will come up but if it doesn't then it's fine because I already have a ticket so yay! I've been like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm going to be seeing it for the first time today. It's going to be so... Oh, you've never seen it? I've never seen Book of sure. Mormon. I've only come because you're in it. Do you know what? <laughs> we've seen what you better than because I think you need to sit... There's so many jokes that you need to sit from a distance. If you're too close, then you miss a lot. Yeah. The only thing is, where, well, where is your ticket? Is on the box I'm in one of the boxes right at the very top. I think I'm on facing... As if I'm facing the stage, I'm on that side, so... Stage right, I guess. Yeah, well, seeing all these people, I'm not. Do you mean like that's the dress circle, the ones that jot out, like in the side ones? Yeah. Right! Oh my god. Starting party predictably from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. win the lottery guys but it doesn't matter because I've already got a ticket so and um, it's funny as you saw I got to stand next to Harry while we were waiting for the lottery to be called and he thinks I've got a good seat anyway where I am so cannot wait I'm now gonna go into Ed's diner for some food because I'm starving oh, and I haven't had an Ed's diner in ages I'm craving this so guys, I'm in my seat at the Book of Mormon, waiting for the show to start. This is the dress circle behind me, from like the very top, um, all the way down to the store at the bottom. And I'm really, really excited about seeing the show now, because it's brand new to me. So yeah, I cannot wait, really looking forward to this. Morning guys, it's Saturday and I am at St Pancras International train station. Unfortunately it's not because I've got a Disneyland Paris which, you know, that would be like amazing. I am actually here to pick up someone very special and she didn't want me meeting her off the train but I am anyway so I'm here and any minute now her train should be pulling in. In fact, yeah, it's pulling in now. And I'm just gonna sit here and wait for her to get off the train and hopefully she'll see me and not walk past and then be like, where are you, where are you? Do you like my new phone case, by the way? This is one I got in Disneyland for five euros and I really love it. I need to try the aerial one though. Oh. It's you! <laughs> I know. Like, I was like looking at you day. going, oh. <laughs> I caught it all on film, darling. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi, people. Sam's here. <laughs> now we can have some fun. I can't wait. We're going to see fishies. Fishies. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly at the London Aquarium, guys. I 
I think I took us off at the wrong tube station, but we can see the London Eye, and I know the aquarium is near the London Eye, so we just have to go over there somewhere behind you. A bit of fresh air in London, it's not bad. I say fresh air in London, it's debatable, but yeah, yeah. a bit cold. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good morning, it's not raining, so that means a success for me. I'm trying to convince Sam Book of Marmon is a good idea in August. Oh, wicked. <laughs> could be a possibility. I know we could do Book of Marmon Lottery like and then if we didn't win, we could then go to Wicked. Is that a plan, guys? What do you reckon? <laughs> it is doable because, like, you've got an hour from when they finish the lottery to get over to the Wicked Theatre and see what tickets they have left there. She forgets to have Tom with me, you hate the theatre. <laughs> Send Tom home! Send Tom home, oh that's mean! <laughs> Stick him in a pub! Yeah, if his friend's there then he can yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Aquarium, where are you? We've made it, we're almost there! Sea Life Aquarium is upon us. And I'm here's one tonight. <laughs> I'm not actually sure I didn't hide it. I think it has been about half an hour walking though, so yeah. <laughs> Gonna be a good day, good day. Oh, they've put a new park in. Is it an adult park? No. Oh. Sam's about to vlog. Hi, Sam! Don't fall in, Sam! <laughs> I love the rays, but they're all at the back there. Striking a starfish. <laughs> Killer fish. <laughs> There's a shark. Oh. It's inception. Ah. Ah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God, what is that? I just realised when it went. Yeah. Yeah. When, when, when it went. It's going in the sky. 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 It's we're in Covent Garden now and we're heading to our favourite place in the world, the Disney store! Can't spend too much money though guys. No. <laughs> this is Spending will be at a minimum. Thank you. Perfect, you work for the government. No? Oh, Disney! Disney! Oh, Stuff in Oreo milkshake. 
I wonder if it's as nice as Ed's, which I didn't enjoy last night. Very nice. Very, very nice. Mmm, yummy! Nom, 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 nom! Yummy, yummy, yummy! Pasta and bread! Yay! <laughs> Finishes today. Approaching the Prince Edward Theatre. Last chance today to see Miss Saigon. Luckily, I have my tickets. See Broadway, March 2017. UK tour, summer 2017. Queue here for returns. There won't be any. <laughs> Must end 27th of February. Cast board! Tanya Manalang for the last time as Kim. Ah! Stage door, pre matinee crowd, all waiting for certain cast members. Not sure who they are, I'm rubbish. I know. We've just seen Tui go in. But yeah, they're all there. <laughs> Crazy, huh, Sam? It's crazy. I just don't understand the whole the madness. No. Is it a madness? <laughs> it is fun though. The final Miss Saigon cast list, and there's Tanya, the last her last alternate Kim performance. Oh my God, guy! I've just seen this. What? We've got the second cover, Ellen on Natalie Chua. Is that good? She's Asian. She's supposed to be Chris's American wife. Oh, she's she's gonna gonna be, oh my god, where's Siobhan Dillon? What the hell? You've got the understudy Ellen at the final day. Guys, we're in our seats for the final Miss Saigon matinee. We're here. Full house. The house is full. And we have got second cover, Natalie Chua as Ellen today, so that's going to be really weird that like, I get to see her because I've always wanted to see Natalie. I know I will, but let me show you the view. Ta da! We have this perfect view. Are you excited, Sam? I'm very excited. The final man. Your first time seeing Tanya as Kim. Yes, I've not seen oh. Tanya as Kim. So. I'm gonna come back to you at the interval and find out what you think of her. Okay. So yay! Yay! And hopefully Natalie as Ellen as well, because she does have that half a song of I still I haven't believe. seen this new Chris either. You haven't seen this Chris? You haven't? No. I saw the other guy. You Alistair. saw Alistair Brammer. Yeah. I remember his name. And Impressive for me. The two is new to you. But the John and the engineer will be the same. <coughs> Yay! Fun times! Yeah. See you at the interview, guys. Uh, interview? See you at the interval, guys. Bye! <laughs> so it's interval time, guys, and Tanya is amazing as usual. She's even thrown in a little riff at the end of um, Give My Life to You there. It was really amazing. And we've got Chuck on as the engineer, which, despite the cast board saying John John, Chuck's obviously been thrown on. Maybe John John was five minutes late and that means he can't go on. Um, but yeah, and Natalie, so far, from her little bit as Ellen, is really amazing as well, just from I still believe. So I really cannot wait to see her, um, maybe, in the second half. Uh, Sam, your first time seeing Tanya, what do you think? Um, I like, I think I prefer Eva. I think I do. And what do you think of Chris as Chris compared to Al um, saw Alistair Brown the last time? Yeah, who I actually really like. But I think Chris is he's really good for the part. Yeah. He looks the part, I think. So, yeah. Chris as Chris is really good. And yeah. you've never seen Chuck as the engineer before. What do you think of him? Oh, I think he's really good, John? actually. I mean, I miss John John because he's just like, amazing, but he, he's still pretty good, I think. Yeah, Chuck's really, really good. Yeah. He's very different, but a lot of people don't like him because he's different to John John. But, but you can't have him exactly the same. No, you can't. Oh, no. like, they're totally different ages and stuff as well, so they'll do it slightly I think he's doing a good job. He is doing a really good job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the whole cast is amazing. You have a, it's a new Tui for you as well, the mm. cousin. Basically a whole new class for me. Yeah. <laughs> Since the last story, yeah. And a new Ellen for both of us, so. Yeah, yeah. it's good to see her in a bit. Really, really enjoying it, and I can't wait for the second half. Just 
good and I can't tweet as much because my battery's nearly dead on my phone. Do we have charge of it? We charge with it. You can find a pub, plug it in for half hour. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh well. rubbish. I am rubbish. <laughs> I didn't think I could have gone to the Weatherspoons across the road at, after the show and charged up. Oh, oh well. <laughs> yeah. So I'll see you after the matinee, guys, when it's completely finished. So, guys, this is stage done now as opposed to before. It's crazy. <sighs> Actually, crazy. I'm so not getting involved in this madness. It's mental, look at it all. It's like a rock concert. So I'm back in the theatre again after the matinee madness and I'm in the dress circle. Look guys, I'm really high this time. But so excited. I'm currently the only person in my box but I do know the show's fully sold out so I expect company very, very soon. And I will try and film the speeches at the end, provided front of house don't bust me for it. But I can't see they will because it's going to be hundreds of people doing exactly the same thing. So, yeah. And this afternoon was amazing. Tanya was fantastic. Ellen, um, Natalie Chua as Ellen was amazing. Uh, Chuck as the engineer was fantastic absolutely brilliant matinee this afternoon and I can't wait for the evening with a full cast because Siobhan's back for the evening, John John's back on obviously and yeah, Eva, Eva, <laughs> cannot wait. I'm just trying to see if there's anyone I know. I've already spotted Beth, Sam for God's friend and I know Sam is in one of the other lodges just opposite me over there. So I'll wait for her to arrive and maybe give her a little wave. Yeah, full house, guys. <laughs> Over there, guys, is a Sam for God vlogging with Lisa. Hi, Sam! I'm a Macintosh, guys. He's all the way there. years after we did 
give the original show that we had the chance to do this marvellous new production. And my great the wonderful passion and embrace of all our audiences for us to be here again tonight. 25 years ago, the theatre was different. Um, jukebox musicals hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> and, you know, the world was a different place. In 1989, um, it was not long after the war, and real-life Kims and her fellow refugees were fleeing a terrible, terrible war. And none of us could have thought then that we here now in Europe would be facing far, far greater flight of refugees in, this, in these times. The great musicals are timeless, and that is certainly true of your Saigon. This marvellous cast, this brilliant cast we've had today, never happened before, we could never have done that with the original show. Um, to have had two brilliant creative teams in our life has been a marvellous thing for Alan and Paul show and myself. And this team uh, had their passion and commitment, both on the design front and every side backstage. Uh, they have just been brilliant and that is why every performance has been like this. Um, but of course, without Alan and Paul Michel and uh, who knows this, Richard Lowry? We did not have
future. So, from now, this production will be a wonderful memory, and for you, for us, it will help us to plan a lot of future projects that I hope you will all enjoy. Thank you very much. is the brilliant musicians that this score. <laughs> One of the great moments in putting this show together is when the actors meet the musicians and they both realise that they're all actually telling a story. Because this is one of the great gifts these two have is of telling a wonderful story through music. Um, you talked about memory. Different show, not, not same shows. <laughs> but actually, you don't have to put your Kleenex away. Because Universal, on their own backs, on the 25th anniversary, brought in a dozen cameras. And the result is so sensational, I think, that they're going to put it into the cinema this autumn. <laughs> John John and Eva, this time next year, will be leaving the cast of the world. And for those of you still in the UK, we will be doing a new production that will tour the UK for the next time. So, as I say au revoir to Miss Saigon, uh, I just would like to say that sooner rather than later, maybe the movie won't just be in my mind. So to watch you last year oh, yeah. do Tui, it was brilliant. Um, I hope to see you on stage again very soon and thank you for being part of Miss Saigon. Thank you for being a part of Miss Saigon. What, what are you going to miss the most? What are you going to miss most about the show? Everything in this show because I just do, it, do this show, doing this show since 2012 and yeah it changed my life forever. I never realised that they're going to be here and yeah I'm Thank you very much. <laughs> One question. What will you miss the most about Miss Saigon? What will I miss the most? Um, the uh, wonderful, wonderful people I met. Uh, the, the family that we made in this wonderful production. Good. Thank you. <laughs> um, what are you going to miss most about Miss Saigon? I'm going to miss the people, um, we're like a massive family and um, we're all going to keep in touch but it's like, you know, a family yeah. parting and yeah, it's, I'm going to miss the people definitely. Okay, thank you! Hi guys, it's Sunday and I'm actually back home now. Had a really boring morning basically, checked out just before 10 when I was supposed to 
and then I had like two hours to wait at King's Cross until my train and now I'm back and I'm ending the vlog here because I actually really do need to get on with my biology assignment um, that's been playing on my mind as it's due in on Tuesday so I'm going to do that and then if I get time tonight I will edit the weekly vlog and try and schedule it for tomorrow hopefully if not it might be a little bit late this week I don't know um, just see how we go <coughs> And I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Comment down below, share it, and I will see you next week, guys. Bye.